welcome to a special edition of Karina Star Tarot. Today I will be asking the cards one question only for the star sign Aquarius. This is a question for the collective, so not everyone's situation will resonate. So take what does resonate for you and leave what does not. Please remember that the outcome of this reading is not set in stone. You have the power to change the outcome as you have free will. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe this video and donations are most welcome. The links are, to all of that are in the description below. So let's start your reading Aquarius and the question is will my ex return? And as usual I've already pre-shuffled the cards but I will give them another quick shuffle on camera and I'm using the Radiant Rider Waite Tarot deck for the main reading. Place some cards out. So please remember that I will be reading the energy from the cards. So I could be picking up on your energy, your partner's energy, a member of your family's energy, or your friend's energy. And cross watchers are very welcome into this reading. And I'm also going to be using the Black Mirror Tarot cards. And again, I've already shuffled these cards, but I'll give them another quick shuffle. I'll lay one out for you. And then finally, to wrap it all up, I will be using a Romance Angel card also. And again, I've already pre-shuffled the deck, but I'll give it another quick shuffle on camera for you. Okay. Right, so let's begin your reading, Aquarius. So we start with the Five of Wands. Eight of Pentacles, Two of Wands, the Hierophant, which is a major arcana card. And the Seven of Cups, and I will leave the final card in this particular deck to the end. <clears throat> so, we're starting off with the Five of Wands. Um, this is Fire Energy, so Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, you could be dealing with. But this is a card that says there's been lots of fighting and arguments within the relationship. Um, lots of disputes, uh, other people could be getting involved in in your relationship, maybe, maybe the other people are interfering in it, making things worse, or they're supporting, your, your friends are supporting you, their friends are supporting them, but it's causing a lot of tension, a lot of arguments, a lot of nasty comments, a lot of backstabbing, you know, um, but this is not a permanent situation. This is a very changeable situation. Then we have the Eight of Pentacles. Um, Earth energy, so uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So maybe with this relationship, you worked very hard. You put a lot of effort and time into this relationship. It's something that you wanted to, you know you wanted it to work out you know you wanted you wanted a future with this person perhaps you know it could represent you doing having put in a lot having put a lot of hard work into the relationship but also perhaps the other person but now with the eight of wands um fire energy so you could be dealing with um a leo um sagittarius 
Scorpio, Sagittarius, what's the other fire sign? Or oh, Aries. <laughs> losing my mind today anyway you could be dealing with any of those signs so with the eight of wands this speaks of you at a crossroads perhaps perhaps you're making a decision about the relationship perhaps you're unsure as to whether you want to proceed with the relationship you know continue on perhaps with all this with all of these fights and arguments you know it's something that's taking its toll on on the pair of you you know sometimes you know, we've got to accept that sometimes things come to an end, you know. But then again, you know, you're, you're, you've got two decisions here. You know, do you take path A or path B? Do you give the relationship a chance? Or do you say goodbye to it? But you're thinking very deeply about this situation. The Hierophant is... A major arcana card and it's also a card that speaks about relationship commitment marriage and rules so it's a card that what it's telling me is that perhaps either you or the person or your person um wants commitment in this relationship you want a relationship you know that's that's steady and serious you perhaps you don't want um to be stuck in one that is casual you know something you know where the other person isn't serious but it's also about rules and structure perhaps perhaps there's not been a lot of um stability in the relationship you know this speaks to something long term you know maybe you were in a long-term relationship that's going through problems because this is a card of not just commitment and marriage it's also uh, about long-term relationships so either you're married or you you've been in a long-term relationship or you want these things within your relationship so with the seven of cups which is water energy pisces cancer scorpio um could be dealing with that sign um but this this says that you or the other person within the relationship uh, perhaps looking at other options perhaps perhaps these are you know you are not each other's only choice perhaps someone within the relationship thinks the grass is greener on the other side you know this this card can be maybe you're thinking about you know am i deluding myself am i kidding myself that this is worth saving you know this is a card of delusionment you know being deluded um um disillusioned you know perhaps you're feeling like um all hope is lost but it could be that your goals are too too unrealistic perhaps or it could be the other person you know the other person in your life your ex you know perhaps they have other options and um or they want to see what's out there for them but it could that can work either way so let's see what this card says oh this is the justice card so this is someone that has been weighing up you know things so you know maybe you or the other person or both of you want a relationship that's balanced i mean if it's you you want balance within the relationship if it's to work you want something that's fair you know perhaps you've been having lots of struggles within the relationship and you know you're assessing your relationship you're you're looking back over things because you're you're looking maybe for the truth about the relationship you know you, you want um an outcome that's fair to you or maybe the other person wants an outcome that's fair, fair within this relationship Whatever way it's working within the relationship, someone wants balance, wants fairness, wants equality within the relationship. So perhaps there's been issues where there's been a bit of an imbalance, you know, where one person's been putting more work into this relationship. After all, we do have the Eight of Pentacles, which shows that someone within the relationship was working very hard to make it work. So this is all about getting that fair outcome. So... Let's see what the Dark Mirror card says next. But this is all pointing to a maybe. It's not a definite yes or no, but you're reading. 
the answer to your question is looking at a maybe. You know, it's uncertain. But we'll see what these cards have to say. They might throw some light on the matter a bit further. So, gilded regret. So, maybe you have past regrets about things that happened within the relationship. Maybe there's a regret that you didn't, you know, confront issues within the relationship sooner and that it was allowed to, you know, get to this stage where, um, you know, you had to split up and maybe it's a temporary split. But, you know, this, you know, this could either be you having these regrets or your ex, but maybe there's a regret about the end of this relationship. Maybe you're both regretting the end of this relationship, but you want, maybe one of you wants to try again. So this could be an indication, you know, like you can't really, I have to say, keep looking at, you know, back at things, you know, focusing on the negative because what has happened has happened. You can only try and move forward and try and put things right if you both want to, you know, make it work. Then instead of focusing on the negatives and past mistakes, focus on a positive the positive things, you know, try to put those negatives correct, you know, try to correct them by talking and sharing thing, things with each other, you know, working things out. Anyway, let's see what the romance angels say, what they can advise you. It says, very soon. It says, clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. So... This card is suggesting that perhaps it's time to make a decision, perhaps, within the relationship. You know, decide whether you want this relationship or not. It's time because, you know, if you don't want this relationship, you know, you or your ex, then yes, uh, there are there are future possibilities out there for you. You know, it's your this relationship is not your only option. You know, maybe there are better things out there for you, but if you do want it, don't don't let things go stale. Don't let things continue to fester. Make up your mind, you know, because the longer you let it fester, the less likely chance you have of, you know, getting back, you know, together and make, um, put setting things straight with each other. So decide very soon or... If you decide that you don't want to proceed with this relationship, it could also mean that, you know, new love is coming in for you. So it's entirely up to you, Aquarius, what you decide on this matter, because the cards are not giving you a definitive yes or no. They're saying maybe, but remember, you have the power to, um, you know, uh, decide the outcome of this situation for you. So it's either you, you get back with him or you won't. And if you don't, there will be something new coming in for you. Anyway, Aquarius, that was your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I finally would like to say very thank you very much for joining me here at Queen of Star Tarot. And have a fantastic Christmas. I hope it all works out for you. And I will see you soon, Aquarius. Bye.